crossing streets safely. Okay, smart pedestrians. Tell me why you might need to walk across the street. To get to my bus stop. To go play at the park. To go see my friends. It may be okay for you to cross the street on a quiet street in your neighborhood, but what should you do at a busy street? Do not cross a busy street by myself. Cross with an adult. And stay together. Correct. But do you know how to be a smart pedestrian when you're crossing the street on your own? Yes! Okay, let's see. What are the six steps you need to remember to cross the street safely? Find a safe place to cross. Stop at the edge. Look and listen for traffic. Cross quickly and safely. Be extra cautious in bad weather or when it's dark. Be a role model. Great. Let's take them one at a time. Find a safe place to cross. How do you find a safe place to cross the street? I look for a place where I can see clearly in both directions. Parked cars, bushes, trees, fences, a curve in the road, or a hill can block me from seeing cars and keep cars from seeing me. I do not cross where my view is blocked. I look for a safer place to cross. When I find a place where I can see cars and cars can see me, I am ready to cross the street. Good. Stop at the edge. The next step is to stop at the edge. Why do you always stop at the edge of the road? I stop at the edge where I can look both ways for traffic. What do you do if you need to cross near parked cars? I stop twice. First I stop at the edge of the road to make sure the parked cars aren't getting ready to go. Then I stop at the edge of the cars so I can see traffic and traffic can see me. Look and listen for traffic. Okay, you've stopped at the edge. Do you know the right way to look and listen for traffic? Look left, look right, look left again. I look left first because that's where traffic is closest to me. I look right next to see if any traffic is coming on the other side of the road. I look left again to make sure it's still safe because cars move quickly. And I don't forget to listen for traffic. If I hear a car engine or a siren or a horn, I stop and look again. If I don't see or hear any traffic and check left, right, left to make sure it's clear, then it's safe for me to start crossing. Cross quickly and safely. How do you cross the street quickly and safely? I look and listen for traffic as I cross. I walk straight across. I walk quickly, but do not run. Be extra cautious in bad weather or when it's dark. What should you do to be extra cautious in bad weather or when it's dark? I wear bright colors and reflective material so drivers can see me. I wait for cars to pass because they can take longer to stop on slippery streets. Okay, last one. Be a role model. What can you do to be a good role model for younger kids? I always cross the street safely myself. I hold their hands and show them the steps for crossing a street safely. I tell them not to run into the street and call them back if they do. I show them how to stop at the edge of parked cars because little kids are very hard for drivers to see. So one more time, what are the six steps you need to remember to cross the street safely? Find a safe place to cross. Stop at the edge. Look and listen for traffic. Cross quickly and safely. Be extra cautious in bad weather or when it's dark. Be a role model. You've taken the next big step to being a smart pedestrian by knowing how to cross streets safely. Have fun. Be safe and... Let's go walking!